Japan has approved financial sanctions against North Korea. comes after pressure was put on Pyongyang to dismantle its nuclear and missile programs. Japan's cabinet agrees that North Korea should return to six-party talks. Japan will freeze the transfer of funds and assets to North Korea by companies suspected of aiding the development of weapons of mass destruction. Stop all missile-related activities, confirm the moratorium on missile launches, return unconditionally to the six-way talks and apply immediately the agreement negotiated last September at the six-way talks. The clampdown stresses the need for government permission for fund flows. It is in line with the United Nations resolution passed after North Korea defied international warnings and test-fired seven missiles in July. The Japanese government hopes North Korea takes this opportunity to abide by the United Nations Security Council resolution. North Korea agreed a year ago to dismantle its nuclear program in return for aid, security assurances and improved diplomatic ties. But it has refused to return to six-party talks on its missile and nuclear programs since late last year. In response, Japan banned a North Korean ferry from its ports for six months. It provides the only direct passenger link between the two countries. It has also barred government officials from the North Korean communist regime.